You know what's strange? I actually kind of feel like playing War Thunder. I mean, at this point, I might as well just blank the category. <laughs> I'm not doing anything. Except hiccuping, apparently. <laughs> oh, Lord, can you stop? <laughs> no! I'm going to mute if this keeps up. You'll enjoy this one at work. Just pulled a vulnerability network scan from net from what? You just pulled a vulnerability network scan? 75,000 rows. Is that XML data or is that 75,000 vulnerabilities? If it's XML, that's not... I mean, that's bad. But that's less bad. <laughs> um... It depends how it's logged. X servers. Each one is a vulnerability. Far out. What are you running that against? How are you checking for vulnerabilities? Is that stuff like, um... Because I know... I remember reading a little while ago that there was actually... If you had an older computer or an older Wi-Fi card, technically that was a vulnerability in some cases. Nessus Pro versus CVEs. That's Excel spreadsheet. Each one is a vulnerability, though. That is. Good luck. I'll be at the funeral. I don't really know what else to say. That's insane. I mean. But that's the kind of thing that demands either an overhaul or you take it to the boss and say we cannot do anything about this it just has to we, you know we fix a thousand and the other seventy four thousand just kind of stay right you fix the big ones sort by priority then pretend the others don't exist glad you finish in an hour well that's yeah the bright side at least it's technically not your problem today but with a list like that I'm sure that's going to linger around for a while. How many people do you have on the team? I deal with 75,000 vulnerabilities. Insane. Honestly, yeah, I feel like that that's at the scope where unless you have an full team of techs, that might be the point where you just don't deal with it. Uh, you log the big the big problems and you just pretend the rest don't exist. Manager, two techs, third on Monday. I wish you all the best of luck with three techs, one starting, possibly going into training and learning the systems. 75,000 vulnerabilities between a lot of you. I mean, I, I actually think I remember there was a there was a security scan my boss did a while ago, and that came up with it, it, it was in the hundreds. I think it was two hundred and something vulnerabilities. But we ended up plugging a, like a handful, and the rest were kind of um, some of them, admittedly, were corporate rules. So we weren't allowed to plug those security vulnerabilities. It was like, oh, you have to have a completely open HTTP connection to this IP address over in the other state. It's like, yeah, okay, that's a vulnerability. But it's also corporate because corporate's weird sometimes. But uh, yeah, I think we were blown away by like 200 odd vulnerabilities on our network. And this is going back a couple of years. <laughs> I, I say my boss, I think I... It was before I was working, working there. I was volunteering. And it was a really bigwig tech who was running the school at the time. Um, and they were, like, joking about it, how there's no way they could plug those 200. Good lord, I wish you the best of luck. Because if that guy thought 200 was a lot to deal with... I think he got through a fair bit. I, I mean, maybe... <sighs> I'm pulling numbers out of my ass because I really don't remember. I was like volunteering and probably wasn't even meant to be hearing that conversation. But I feel like they got a quarter at most of those vulnerabilities done and then said, yeah, we're going to provide that report back and say we've plugged 60 vulnerabilities and ignore the total number to leadership. 
Go do game? Go do what game? I don't know what to switch to. No one suggested anything. I don't know what I feel like doing. I weirdly, I think I did mention briefly, I weirdly feel like playing War Thunder. I don't feel like playing War Thunder, you know? That's like such a heavy game to randomly jump into after Valheim. Elder Scrolls is the easy answer. Red Legends has story. I did run a poll that said Crash Bandicoot should be the game I focus on finishing next, awkwardly enough, before I started Elder Scrolls and bought Grid Legends. Terrible timing to run that poll, I think, in hindsight. I could play a new game? I really, I don't know what I feel like. I'm staring at a list of games and just going, e -e -e, I don't know. I don't know. We could pack it in early. It's three in the morning, after all. I don't have to keep pushing through. Oh, you know what we could do? Contentful of the Wild has new content and I own the new content. Reventuli Coast in Finland released in Hunter Call of the Wild. I've not played it yet. say a genre of video game. What's a genre of video game? Ah! The mystery of the druids! I forgot I own that. Oh lord, there's a game we could play that it would take me years to finish. I could stick with Valheim, I don't have to change games, I do have the no map run. We'll preview... You know what we're gonna do? We're gonna do a wordle. As usual. We always open with fishy. It's such a good word. Except it sometimes sucks that Y has actually had more hits than I thought. But we'll, we'll open with fishy. Okay, fishy sucks. Uh, new rule, we never open with fishy ever again. Second random guess. Apple is not that great. Um, double P is not something you really want to open with for a test of letters. What about... We already have S, we know S doesn't work. Oh, w -O -K, though. Um... I feel like trunk. We'll open with trunk. T R U N K is a good bunch of letters we haven't tested. Oh my lord! can't end in ER, but it can still have an E or an O or an A. Can we write Apollo? 
Maybe it's missing one of those double letters. Maybe we just go apple? It gives us the A and the E, and then the only other vowel is O. And if we don't hit A, E, or O, I'm screwed anyway. Um, we haven't done an L or we haven't done a P, but it does miss one of the guesses. I really feel like there's a better word than apple we can use to get green or yellow on the board. What about... What about globe? No L, we haven't used L before. E-L-O-B-E. -E. We have a G! We have an E! Can we please get something else? I mean, at this point, we basically... I feel like we might even be able to guess the word entirely based on what numbers we know aren't in it. Numbers. Oh my lord. What do we have left? So it could be anything like this. H. H. An extra number. Um, there could be two E's. We already know there's no R. There could be two G's. We only know G and E. I think we need to go with... There's no R. There's no N. It's a G. There may not be a D. We haven't guessed A, so I'm going to randomly throw Eagle out there. And I was actually really hoping that would go green. Alright, there are two E's, but it's not in the first spot. It's not Eagle. There is no A. Bagel. Bagel? Bagel isn't spelled like this, is it? Bagel. A G isn't in the middle. There's no A, there's no R, there's no G in the first spot, so it is something, 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 G-E. It could be E-G-E. -E. We still have a P, we haven't guessed, we have guessed H. There's no U, so we can already write the Q out for most words in the English language. B e is still on the table. I really am struggling to find letters here that go in front of a G besides the E, though. Wedge. Oh. How's that? How's that? Deduction skills through the roof. I think that was actually pretty good. Next word in 20 hours. God, how's that for a screenshot though? Ah! How's that for a list of deductions? We went fishy into trunk with no info other than what we weren't allowed to use. Globe, not a bad one to try at that point. Into Eagle, which honestly, in hindsight, we did know that the L had already been tried. Eagle was never going to land. We'd already written Globe. But Eagle gave us double E into Wedge, which was DGE. That was the D, I think, was the final moment where I finally clicked. I love that I managed to actually get that. What a fascinating series of... I, I'm i surprised we came out of that with a winning combo. I don't know, what is this? Wordle? 
the date? Oh god, I almost wrote 2021. There we go. Save Wordle with the date. Alright. What a... I, I pulled that off. I have a humble moment of uh, humble brag. I actually got it. I never thought... I never thought I'd solve that one. I thought we'd got a doomed Wordle. <laughs> okay, but we do have Quirtle left to go before I decide what we switch to. I still haven't decided. I really don't know. I really feel like War Thunder. It's just such an odd game. I, I Look, we're going to do War Thunder. I think I've decided. For lack of anything else popping into my mind as an appealing choice, I feel like War Thunder. And maybe we end on Grid Legends story mode. Damn. I'm actually really happy with that wordle. I'm leaving that sit on screen for a minute. Poor Thunder. Hang on. Okay. And we're good to switch games. But well, let's jump over there so we can at least claim we're in the right game. Actually might like to test today. I might test whether or not we can get away a bit of Friday Night Funkin. I want to see if that flags copyright. And for a couple of days on Halloween. That being said, testing the official game for being flagged. I mean, menu music, yes, I guess would be nice to know because a lot of them do have the same. But it would be very nice to know if um, one of the mods I want to play in Halloween here. Here, when's I haven't had it yet. Probably. No? Okay, still good. Alright, game is loading. Next up on the list, we will get rid of our genius, genius Wordle. Uh, I saved a screenshot of that one. That was actually a proud moment for me. Speaking of, I actually have, I think it was yesterday's Wordle, I had another genius stroke of guesses. But, Quirtle. Oh, the game loads up. Shall we open with Fishy all over again? I feel like we could open with Fishy again. Nothing wrong with Fishy, or should we do, I feel like Fishy might be too niche. Let's open with Globe, that gives us two vowels, N, L, N, B, a lot more common. Let's go globe. Everything got an L. Almost everything got an L. But we do have GBE down in the bottom. L O L E and just L. So not so bad. Make sure that the game is capturing, shall we? Okay, L O V. So the top left is not L O V E. Do we get an R? We have L V R in the bottom left. We have. We know E is in the bottom right. L E again in the top right as well. So it's not lover, but we did get an R. That was a bit of a waste, sadly. We could. We know it's not glove. Globe and glove are basically the same word. We've got a lot of yellows. Let's actually think about O L. Paul Stroll. What else do we have? Um. Stroll. There's one too many in stroll, and we're not enough in toll. We 
We haven't guessed N. Uh, what's a word starting with N? Necro? Well, let me write necro. Oh. I don't know. That's not. No, necromancy doesn't shorten, does it? Necrosis? Does it really not have a short? I really would have thought necro would have worked. Velcro? We can't fit Velcro. Name. That puts an S M A N. I think names. It's really just trying to spot more letters, but it's not really helping us locate any of the ones we know about. Gives us an N. Hey, okay. We have an A. <laughs> Okay, so we have all the letters for the bottom left. We have enough to formulate what that is. We have an S in the top right. That's three letters in the top right, as long as any of them don't duplicate. L O Null? It's not O. There's no O in the second. There's no O in the third. Null. Nullo? New? What is that in the top left? Hell? Not A. So we have, we know these letters, let's just write them all, Valor, there's no A in the second, you cannot put A in the second, but we're missing like one letter. Enter in lurk mode? No worries. It's the um chat early though. Get a few noodles. I need to actually think about this. I really do not know what goes in the second spot. This has to be a valve of some kind, right? With a V. Oh, it's not. Hang on, it's A, isn't it? We know it's an A. Viral. We haven't done I yet. There we go. Bottom left done. We knew we could do that with four letters. Now we need to figure out. We know L isn't in the last position in top left. Neither is it in the last position in top right. N? Something something. O. Or is it end in O? I would know where the O goes if necro was a word. I'm surprised that counts as slang. No way necrosis doesn't have short, a shorthand version of the word. I mean, it probably is in the dictionary. It's half the time I feel like Quirtle and Wordle just pick what words do and don't work. Oh, 
Although, yeah, maybe it is slang, because I'm thinking when you get a thread necro, you know, like an image board thread necro, help forum thread necro, those things probably aren't commonly known in the English dialect as a real word. Um, that really would have helped knowing where that O goes, if it wasn't the final spot or not. It's got an L! Alright, we'll figure out the top right first, hopefully that gives us some more info. Because I am clueless. I have no idea. There is no A. Fixed blocking by chat. Uh, except for quick commands, players often tell the battle. Use the battle chat to tell allies about winning critical maneuvering. One team, it's about danger and sometimes the opponents are not some to surrender immediately. Opening chat while moving at the same time could block control from the keyboard and the chat itself stop responding to commands. Will that remain in the situation to a player was to play the role of a firing point? A strange bug has been found and fixed. You can think sneaky plans again and practice diplomacy and battle chats. And they... What did we get? 20 mission, 2 days, 23 hours to use it. Lasts for one day after activate. There's no point not to throw that on before we go into a battle. But... I need my quero. I really have no idea. Uh, no, G N O L L O. Too many L's, but no, a creature. If it weren't for that N being green in the first spot. What the hell's haven't we tried? You. We have an E. We've never tried for double L in the top right. There is an S, but it can't end in S. I feel like it has to start with S. We know four letters. We know three letters, not four. We know three letters. S E L. L cannot be. We've we've ruled out O A I. We haven't tried U. Bottom left, uh, sorry, bottom right, G, B, E are the only letters we know. We've already written globe. It doesn't have an L, so bulge can't work. Bilge, no L. No I. So we know there's no O in either of these spots. Cannot be an O. So what would it be? The O has to go in one of these at the end. Has to be in the last two spots. Same with the L. The L can only be in one of the two second, the third or fourth slot there. Having so much trouble here. Null something. Null O. 
Null O isn't a word. We only have the letter U hasn't been tested. Every other vowel, every vowel except O has been a miss, which means there's a U, oh, sorry, E hit. So A, I, O, E, and we haven't tested U. And it's for Nougat. Not enough letters. There's no E in the top left. The O isn't in the second or third position. Mm, if it wasn't for... Could it be a double L? Nylon? We haven't tested Y. L does have a hit. O and an N again. Should we go for the long shot? I mean, fuck it. Right. Hey, look at that. You think long enough, you can figure out any of these. That sequence of thinking, though. You just get nylon out of note. Sometimes I do wonder, like, what do these look like to someone else who doesn't know my process? Alright. We have found out that the only place the L can be in the top right is the fourth slot. These have all been listed as incorrect. We also ruled out the Y and the... Wait, we only list... wait. O is not in any other words. The O is gone, the Y is gone, the N is gone. Okay, so we ruled out quite a few words there. Letters. There's one spot left for the L. There may still be double L. No, literally impossible. There's one spot left for the L. Uh, there's no A, otherwise... Easel. And the E is not in the last spot. Do we still have no idea what's in the bottom right either? G, B, E. There's no L, otherwise... There's no O. N's and E. We haven't tested H. S H No S H E Is there anything we can end that on that hasn't been blocked out? Ooh, I do want to try and go for ELS. No S on the end. EL, Y, no Y. We're still missing a letter. We know three letters. SH. It has to be L in the fourth slot is what's messing me up. There's no Y. Oh, oh, not a word. S H E. There has to be a different combination. S E. I'm drawing a blank. L E S. But it has to be. The L has to be in number four. The S could be anywhere. 
E can't be in the last two. So let's go, let's start with E. What can we do with starting with E? E, S... We need the L... E, S... Anything, L, anything. That's the problem. E, S, anything, L, anything. What do we have? If the A wasn't blocked out, I really want to write seal. We know for a fact there's only one L. I really do feel like it's E L something. It has to be E L something. It can't be E L S. Because the S is yellow in the final slot. Can't be E. Oh come on, hustle missing a T. Ugh. You. 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 Ah, it does give me the U. Maybe, look, it gives us an F, it gives us the U, we finally do find out the U, it gives us the H. It will tell us if the E is in the third spot. That's it. That's all we know. It will tell us if the E is in third. It will give us F, U, anywhere in the top, in the right side of the map. Oh, there has to be a better way. But it has to be E, L or something. It can, literally, it cannot be L-E. But I feel like that would narrow down top right a bit more, and any of the F, any of the letters landing at the bottom right, F or U landing in the bottom right, do help us out a lot. I need T. You know what I need? We, maybe we just go for a complete random letter. Let's go for tune. Uh, let's go for Tuck. Tuck? Let's go for Tux. T U C K. New letters. Let's get them in there. We have found nothing in the top right, but however, we know it is something U, something, something E. I think it is B U, but then G what E? Can't be Bung. Can't be bulge. Can't be. There's no S. We haven't tried P. We didn't try F. Bug. Budge. Budge. Got it. Budge. There's the D. Ruled out the D. That rules out so many letters, but it doesn't help me. We have two guesses left. Worst case, we can burn another guess, and we have no idea. The only letter we know for certain is L. It goes in the fourth slot. The rest, clueless. We got no other hits. It has to be an F. There's also the H. No U, only an E. Now the E could be second position or third or both. Cannot end in an S, has to start with an S. I'm certain of that now. Could be... 
But again, I do not know what that would end in. Shelf! Fuck! How's that? Saw it immediately. I was like, it has to have an F, has to have a H. We know it starts with S. Fairly certain it starts with F. How was that? Oh, another screenshot. No one's going to have any clue my thought process getting to these guesses. Oh, my lord. What a game, though. That took me way too long. But we got there. Hey. Wordle. 1507 2022. How was that? Took me so long. S H E L just floored my brain until I realized you can end in elf. Elf is a word. Shelf. It's. There you go. How is that for guessing? Is that legible, by the way? I've got them sort of small and out of the way. They're legible, aren't they? Yes. Well, they could be a bit bigger. And it's fine with them being a little bit in the way because they are going to take priority over the screen, I do believe. But, hey. I'm happy with that output. That shelf threw me for a loop, though. Globe didn't work. Lover didn't work. Names got us the ES. We also knew L. And Viral, Nylon, none of them had hits, but at least by the time we got to Nylon, we knew the only spot the L could fit was in fourth. We knew we had an E and an S, and I just had to figure out if it was ELS. It couldn't be ELS. So it had to be... Really, yeah. It was very little places we could go with that combination. Hey, Joe, welcome in. Budge, though? Budge was another complete left of field. We, we did have the information to make the guesses, but I really do feel like both Quirtle and Wordle today, complete left of field screenshots. I don't think anyone's going to know my process. Nylon was genuinely just like, oh, that's probably it. And it worked. Sometimes it just does. Ah. Oh. How are you going, Joe? Oh, my noodles. I don't think I'm going to be going for too much longer today. We might play for a little bit. What did I want to switch to for a while after this? I forget. I just wanted to switch to something. Ah, oh, yes. I wanted to do um, week seven of Friday Night Funkin' to see if any of that music gets flagged on YouTube. I don't think so. Friday Night Funkin' had a YouTube bonanza back in the day. If it got flagged, I don't think people would have just been putting all those man hours into editing videos. But, like, uh, some people, yeah, it's a good game. I like it. There are a bunch of people that I get the vibe. They're uh, definitely in it for a bit of monetization. What should we open with? I'm going to go M4. We'll just fill out the battle, shall we? I've got my preview on. We'll get rid of that. Help out the game a little bit more. I disagree. You know, I normally do run my mouth in these games. I've never had people tell me to shut up, so I shouldn't suddenly be worried just because I'm streaming that I'm going to cause people grief not stop talking. on reload that tiny little rock caught me oh, there you go tiny little rock spurred my doom uh the m16 when did i get that and he is on a bridge c we have b they have um, might just, yeah, I don't really have anything. Maybe I take the M4A3 out. I didn't really feel like the M4A3 did me any good though. I don't want to take out anti-aircraft this early, but I also don't want to throw away my M10 this early. 
Might as well stick with the M4. Maybe I'll go have a peek at B with the, the um... You know what? No, we'll, we'll see if we can do anything at B. Trade at B. The T34 down at B. I don't think we have any... Air, we don't think we have any aircraft on the way yet. Why don't you do that to me? Apparently B has been abandoned. Someone's heading upriver to A. Give him hell. I will do my best. I've honestly, I have caught a bit of the War Thunder bug lately. Not played War Thunder in a good while. Game audio not. Wait. Game audio not capturing? I'm sorry, I fixed that the other day, didn't I? Why not? Sorry. That should not have happened. I should be still fine for game audio. Why is that reverted back to the system default? I might turn... I'll turn the filtering on to make it a little quieter, but... War Thunder in battle. Input. Why did I have to reset it? That shouldn't need to be done. Filters. Put the car's filter on. Gives it a little bit of a volume decrease. Still a loud game, bear in mind. So we're racing games, that's why I have the car's filter in the first place. Absolute dick. I wasn't watching the skies. Coffee and breakfast time? I probably is actually. I've been on since uh, 8 pm last night, 9 pm last night actually. Alright, well, going out for one last run. See if we can't make some damage, get some kills at A. I'm in another open top with a plane on the loose. have to keep an eye out for that plane coming back around, I guess. He's still out. A few more planes on the way in, though. Uh, I wish I could lock my turret in place, but... Looks like they're going for strafing runs closer than me. But I won't lie, I'm a little happy about that. Artillery. I'm in the wrong tank to be dealing with artillery. Where is it going? I don't see this. Oh, it's right on me. We have a bomber on the way in. J2 has been killed. Nice. Still alive, still in the sky, but it is. Burnt, the pilot, I believe, is burnt up. Or been knocked unconscious. Probably this KV-1. And we lost someone on the far side of the lake. The T-34 that we're attacking. I may be fine. And we are clear. We put ourselves in the line of a T-34 though. God fucking damn it. We no longer have what a shit show of a match. Can that stop too? Can camera and mouse interface not be the same thing? Either give me mouse interface or give me camera controls. Don't give me both. All right.
right next. What a shit show of a match that was. myself a bit of noodles or as you could say I'm having a bit of a breakfast of some variety Why are we in Vietnam era out of four? We, we should be battle ranking 4.0 and we're in Vietnam. I'm going to open with the M4. Relax. On cruise control while I eat a few more noodles, shall I? We're going to head to A. Vietnam era puts me up against some scary tanks, but we might be fine. Keeping my eye out on the long distance shots though. Come and get him. It's destroyable. Didn't know that. Where am I? Brave man. For A3105. These pallets might be solid, but I don't want to test it. Seems that... We've got a medium tank just out on a stroll all the way over there. We have A, we've tagged B, we have someone on B, and we have people across the highway. Let's see if we can't, there's a T-34 over there. I can actually see him. Well. T-34 did not go down, he's still there. Very open over here, actually. Miss. Another T-34. Target destroyed after a crit hit. The other T-34 is down! Could we hold here? We have A and B. There's no point making maneuvers. And I'm gonna hold here. A bit of cleanup. Artillery going in on both the T-34s. We could try and defend, but the problem is the map is parallel to the spawns, so I don't really want to be pushing myself. They can approach from any angle to any point. We've also tagged C actually at the moment. It's gonna throw down. Artillery at intersections. Oh, that M24 got taken out before I even lined up a shot. We have a medium tank actually over at B. But again, their ability to approach from any... We have a, that medium tank on the stroll is in their base. <coughs> Look at him, he's in the base. Surely you get punished for that. By the game, right? Surely the game doesn't just let you sit in the base. Fighter vs fighter protecting our bomber. Not a bad situation to be in if you get a good fighter pilot on your team. 
unfortunately, seems to be a rarity. Where is he? Literally, where is he? Please stop. It's not very nice. I am going to... You would have got across there, right? That means he's likely over here by now. They've tagged B. B should be contained. We have a bomber and a fighter versus nowhere. We see that tank is on our side. Artillery going off. I think that might be my artillery. Let's see if we can't sneak a peek here. Heavy tank coming down the main highway. I'm in a bad spot. I don't think I can do much against the heavy tank, but we gotta try, unless he got taken out. I wasn't watching the kill feed. We can actually sneak into the, the zone here. We don't want to poke out too far. That's a safe bet. Thank you. Just a little more effort, and victory will surely be ours. My inattention to the kill feed has caused me distress now because I don't actually know if the heavy tank. I mean, we've got people on the highway, the heavy tank's clearly dead. Or dodged into some buildings and I'm about to face him. Holding a uneventful. It's the success play though. Our pilot crashed. No kill. Another man, I guess. Honestly, looking at how spared out how spread out our team is. Bullets fired at me. You can see where. Bit of a lame -o run. Surviving on one tank is never good for points, even if you do survive. Bad day. An average meth game and a terrible game before that isn't the worst though well we'll see you know what i'll play that'll be my that's my goal there we'll get the m6a1 we'll put it on a crew maybe run the m6a1 out for a, for a battle or two shall we i think that's actually going to be my first 4.0 battle raid it should be 4.0 um i believe so be interesting to know if the M6A1 bumps me up a couple of ranks um, into the tier 3s and tier 4s.
we have points already under control. Interesting. Not exactly an inner city map, but it maybe has enough cover. Depending on the range here, we've got a hill over here and we've got our hill. Tempted to that point to take out a tank killer. Let's see how I do early on. I want to stop switching away from using my best picks first, so that the last hurrah could be a game saving play on a, on a tank killer clearing out a zone. Yeah. Yeah. We'll see. I do need points on this tank, so taking it out to gain points isn't the worst thing either. changed my plans drastically in the last 10 seconds. I want to be on this side of the river, on this side of the building, but that leaves me very open. Repositioning. being this airborne is ever a good idea but and the people up on the hill actually do have a bit of cover as well I might have to jump up there perhaps there's more roads and stuff up there too but you do have to be wary of them coming from the north across this road here just keep an eye on what we have in front of us for now you can reposition later if need be I feel like this map is designed to be a war of attrition happening. Can you shoot barbed wire? I think so. And hit the fences. We have someone to the north. Maybe I should stay put. Okay, there he goes. Because I think my line of sight here is actually where he would have pulled out from. Could be in front of the building with me or behind the building over there. But not the worst idea to stay put here. Everyone on top of the hill is going to be drawing attention and no one should be looking down this way. Friendly. Jesus. My heart. Oh my lord, my heart. Holy cow. <laughs> Ooh, <wee. laughs> Did he die? No. There's a lot of smoke and dust though. We're ahead of the enemy. Now he died. They have sight lines on B. Let's see if I can't move up kill. If 
toward that side of the bridge. Why would you flip? My turret is so slow! Typhoon chase down Octave. Is that a three fighter only battle? No bomber? Weird. Lovely, I don't think they start unless you um yeah. The Emperor A3, we have a bunch of people over on that. Where? Where? Come on. I was watching. Is there a guy to the north? No, he shot through the building and peeked the front of my axle. Okay, okay. Okay. Fine. I actually think this war of attrition is going to take so long. Maybe I'll get a... Ooh, we have a bomber on the way. Maybe you'll get us peek with some points on the M16 for a change. Mace! I'm Mace the Mace! Welcome in! Where is that airport? It's over there. Oh my lord, my gunner sucks at targeting. Bomber is going for a straight run super early. Good hit, I get credited if he crashes. He didn't crash. Out. He's falling. And I'm reloading. I didn't actually stop anything happening there. My play was well timed and. So, are you okay? Thank you. Well timed, poorly executed. We have people all over the north side of the map here. How you doing, Mace? Hope you're doing well. This truck has the worst audio design. I hate it. Every time I pick it, I remember how much I hate the truck. We have a good secure border along the south there, but I don't think we're ever going to make much difference position-wise, point-wise. I think this battle is genuinely made or broken. Come here. He's suiciding. to make sure I'm actually in a position to defend B though. Can't let them have B. Doing okay, just trouble sleeping. I've heard insomnia is the issue of the day, so it seems. Shahusha was having issues sleeping a little earlier as well. Can you hear how bad the truck's audio is? Oh my lord. Just always revving. We've actually lost everyone on B. I'm it. Nothing ain't, ain't gonna. Not the best thing you want to have stuck on B. It's their load of ending. Alright, the M4 on the bridge got taken out. There's a light tank up here. B. He tagged it and he's running away. Honestly, not a terrible strategy. He doesn't have to stay on there. To win, you really just need to tag it and leave. Damn. Genius strap. 
because they get the points lead if we don't take this back. Where's the barrier? Yeah, 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 I knew you are watching, right? I know you're watching, because that's your strat. You want to overlook the site and make sure we don't get it. right here. I was looking the wrong way, wasn't I? Still, yeah, that's not a bad strat. Take a speedy tank, sit on point for like two seconds, you're done. That's what we need to do. Fortunately, he's actually claiming the point now because we have no one defending. It pays off. If we get A, we still come to a stalemate and we might tap A just now actually looking at the map. But we need to, that's the problem. There we go, we tapped it. We could trade, and then it's up to us to get the defending push against B. Attack the B point. His points go down pretty slowly. Is he still on B? No, okay, it's going down because we tapped it. I mean slowly, because we did slow because we tapped it. But we have A. Nobody's are slow, down. Or they're holding? I genuinely, I can't tell. I think I want to get into a position of defending though. Let's sit over here. And I want artillery, artillery. Roger that, confirming fire. I don't want to leave B completely unprotected, but I end up do want to just throw my last tank away doing something crazy here. It's a two to one point favor in our on our team. The game's not over, but we are taking that point right now, and I do kind of want to be there to help keep that thing happening. Oh, we have two tanks over in our spawn, actually. Did they... This time? Are they all just... Is the War of Attrition over? Did we win the War of Attrition? Oh, it looks like we might actually have wholeheartedly won the War of Attrition. Look at that. They might be out of tanks. They've got, um... Three people still loading the... Yeah, that's it. No, they, they lost all their points. That was it. The War of Attrition was ours. I'll be... Long battle? How long did that take? Do we not see how long it went? Three minutes... That was a, humanly a 14 minute battle, right? I think we'd go to a look, unlock the M6A1, but I do burn out on these games a little quicker than most. Do you want to test? Oh, is this the same map from the other side with different points? Okay. I am going to do the same strat. Actually, no. Let's switch it up. M4 first. We'll see how the battlefield lays. And we'll take the M10 out if we don't get absolutely swamped by long range fire across the hills. C 
Sea is a nightmare point to defend, though. I do feel like C has our side advantage. Oh, not a chance in hell. Oh, but well, besides the fact we get to C first, I think the lay of the land is already a nightmare for C. But on top of the lay of the land being a nightmare for C, I think it is favoured our side because of all these logs here. We basically get the high ground. And the blue side have to take high ground back from us. Not a chance in hell that was going to land. Go on the far side with this guy. The M4A1 has the right idea using this side as cover. Light tank. Not have an angle on him here. He's dead. They have B, we have C, I think I can pick that? No. decent accuracy on that artillery. Is that with a gunner and a loader? I pressed that too early. Come on. over there too. He's got his round first if he's looking at me. Took out his engine. Bit of damage. Come on. Third shot. He's looking at me. Someone else is too. Tim down. He's looking at me. BT5. I did hit him. Nothing, nothing come of it but a hit. Our teammate got down. really do need to uh... that's it that's the best I can do I can't do anything um, we have B this is nice I guess I'll get a random artillery out there there is a Panzer of three actually over there on the hilltop well I should have aimed for the hilltop But it takes 25 seconds to repair tracks. Alright. Bomber and a fighter coming in. No one defending. Let me see what I can do. I've got 10 seconds left anyway. Bombs up still. We're ahead of the enemy. Let's 
assist. Safe and sound. I'm dead. All right. Well, hey. I really sucked at getting that bomber, though. Could have done some damage there. We are going to go in a city straight ahead through to B. Point eight. That guy is in a fighter fight. You know, I'm actually really happy. I've seen so many fighter fights today. So many people normally just get in a fighter pilot and then shoot at tanks. I suppose it's great if you know they have a bunch of anti-air and you can get the advantage on them. Um, seems kind of counterproductive to tank an uh, aeroplane and try and fight anti-air, but... Good lord, he had some speed. Armor with a enemy pilot, two enemy pilots, and I got my work cut out for me. Bullets! What's going on? Thing sucks. Oh my god, a runoff though. God, that thing sucked. Burning circle of a grape. That guy's alive. He's been tagged, if not outright taken. Killer on B. I'm gonna see if I can peek through here, shall I? Coastline. Seems like the battle might actually be out this way. Push up a little bit. Twenty-eight's down. <clears throat> no point taking the bomber. Had an average battle, but I like to think I helped in moral support. Do we have our M6A1 though? That's the real question. Five hundred and sixty-seven premium, not premium. Okay, so <laughs> we need. Another five average games. In order to unlock the M6A1. 
I definitely don't think I have enough in me for five more games of War Thunder. Not to mention my lower spine is killing me at the moment. Ew, a wishy-washy map like this. What do I take? Jack of all trades, master of none. We'll just start with the M4 and hope for the best, shall we? you know what I should do? Instead of just a straight up game, uh, I, I've been applying negative game when I do louder games. I've got it at a negative 8 gain at the moment, and plus the ducking on top of that. When I talk it should be quieter still, but I am noticing my voice and the... I just notice where I'm looking actually, where I'm heading. My voice and the game, even with all of those things in place, seem to be fairly well level. That's missed. I'm thinking I might just play a normalization filter instead of a ducking filter. It makes a bit more sense, I think. Is down. Does that mean I only have one shot? Let's have a look here. Maybe I will just, uh, um, switch out some of our crew, and we'll do a repair while we're here. I don't want to be down a loader if I ever actually have to shoot. He's looking at me. Not good. Is that a stuck? I can't tell what that is. You bastard rock. Ah, I saw it fly and I was like, oh, that missed. And then it hit. I drove back out. Probably killed myself doing so. It looks like a stug, but it's like not a stug. Take two. It. 
three fighters against one bomber. We should take him out, surely. Back into here quicker. The fight across the way there. One of our tanks has been shot and burnt out. Looks like recently. Maybe two. There's a tank killer river. That's the Stug, is the tank killer over here. Very close by, actually. Another Stug, very close by. Look at this guy, though. Blank, nice, they're on C. I'm at C. Not super good. Might as well make for the push. 5A1, there should be a stug somewhere on the point too. There's the M5. See the stug? Stug may be out of commission. Uh, M4A1 is looking at me. I'm going for it. Let's see if I can't aim this way. Someone else on Tard. Traded the radio operator for the targeter. Good hit, took out his loader and gunner. He isn't moving either. He's staring at us. Come on. Hit. That's not what I need. I don't need a hit. I don't need a hit. Fuck! Ah. He got new crew really quickly. Hopefully other guys doing okay. Maybe I take out the M5 and we just try and get back to sea quickly. At the very least, the M5 is always fun. Listening with headphones at the moment. Sounds good. Mike is still above game audio. The normalization filter is a good idea. It'd be interesting hearing the difference. Right. Well, is that the player of the scout? Let me quickly give it a try. Oh, filters. Let's add normalization. It is a compressor that we just call normalizer. And we go with a ratio of 10 to 1 probably isn't bad with a threshold of... Okay. We don't want it too low. We want the ratio to apply pretty late into the... into the filter. So a negative 10 decibel. We won. Yeah. I sat there AFK, but we'll, we'll do the same thing actually. Instead of a negative 8 gain, let's go for a negative 8 decibel threshold with a ratio of 10. And we'll try that out. Did I enable it? Yes, normalize it down the bottom. And I'll get rid of the car filter, because this would 
The normalizer would technically replace the car filter. It won't be much of a normalizer, really, but I mean, I suppose that's all a compressor kind of is, is um, a more complicated normalizer, but I'll try that at negative eight decibels. Mm, I might, we'll do it a bit more aggressive and see what the difference actually is. If I drop that down to a negative 12 decibel filter and then apply a ratio of 10 to one on the volume past that point, it should be fine. The bottom end of the volume will still be the same. It still applies the audio docking still the same. Instead, it's just hopefully going to cap the volume of louder games at around that negative 10 decibels. Fingers crossed. We'll see how it goes. Just game audio. It's only being applied to game audio at the moment. And it is live, so let me know how it looks. Feels, sounds, tastes, smells. One of those should apply. Hi. Doesn't look too different in the, in the OBS audio tracking here. It looks about identical. It might not be applying the filters though, because it looks like the filter. It looks like the audio is kind of sitting or about negative twenty. So the filter might have to be cut back to like a negative twenty-four decibel range before it actually makes any difference in these louder games. If it doesn't sound different. Yes, I'll leave it. I don't know, there's no harm leaving a filter that doesn't work, right? hitting about 20 decibels so I brought the filter is now down to negative 24 so it should be capping out of around slightly quieter than what it was before I'm gonna get to B we have an M5A1 over on our left actually Tagged. The M5A1. Got a crit hit on the driver at least, on the AB fifty AB forty three, I think. Uh, let's take the M10 out. This is a tiny map. We have A. We have B. Allied forces have captured a zone. I was messing around with the the normalizer side of the compression filter. Just basically capping the volume at a certain point. Um because I had a couple of songs that I I was just going through just messing about with a new set of forces, a new set of uh, filters and everything, and the compression was part of that. And I noticed that a lot of songs get super loud and other songs are super quiet. So instead of normalizing the audio manually and exporting the normalized version of each song, I instead just put the volume up a little bit and I applied the compressor filter more extreme version of it than we are using now the enemy has most of the um, in order to try and create an, an, an effective normalizer within OBS itself. We have lost everything. We're looking at total defeat if we don't make a play. Alright, there's a trade here at A. couple of games that really are that tad bit too loud and I wouldn't mind having a bit more control over my volume on the gameplay side 
I think hard capping volume, maybe some kind of negative 20 hard cap. Honestly, she wouldn't believe it would be that shoddy of an idea. We're running with a negative 24 um, normalization at the moment. They know I'm here, they've had aircraft gain intel. That's some downside to me. I've spotted him and I can't line up the shot through the enemy corpses. He's a shorter reload than me, isn't he? To artillery of all things. Ay ay ay. Of all things that could have taken me out, artillery. I knew I was open top and I didn't. I can't really make maneuvers there, can I? But it was sucks. I need to get to A really quickly though. Attention to the designated grid square! M4 A1 at A. So we have at least two tanks on A. We no longer have the advantage. Attention to the designated grid store. There's the M4 A1. So what it is. Yeah, I was messing around with these settings with music and I could sort of cap music. I, I used, I think, negative 40 decibels. Um, practically, it's actually applying a negative 36 decibel filter. But because it, it's capping it at that. Uh, yeah, it, it worked weird. I don't know how it actually sounds though. It could entirely, in, in the case of music, it might entirely flatten out all of the noise. I don't actually know. Uh, how much do we have left to go in the research tree? 1200. Maybe we do see it through today. I think I've got maybe two more battles in me at most, so if it isn't, if it isn't in the next few battles. We do have to win on a high note though. So if the next two battles suck, then yeah, we're gonna keep playing, but. I wanna wind down and end on a high note. We get a good game, and we get 800 research this time. I won't complain. Where are we, by the way? Hmm. Awkward map. I really am just opening with the M4 out of uncertainty on a lot of these maps. I don't believe I've ever played many of them. B. We should get C by the factor. So I think I'm gonna go to B. The 
best ditch that. Whatever a KFC is, there's one in the other team. This will come up. Six A one over there. All right, the T thirty four on its way over here just died. There's a light tank on the other side of the that just died. I guess the light tank was the KZ uh, K KFC. We are capturing B. We have all but A. After this, I probably am going to go over and just Allied forces wait have captured see that Coming in from behind. Oh, you bastard. Absolutely kill me here. Got him first. Speaking of artillery, kind of peek stupidly around here. He's down from behind. The medium tank got him. I think the medium tank just got taken up. German taken out. Panzer IV is still on the prowl. We have lost C. How's that for a show off shot? You can hear it smashing the top end of the game audio. Maybe the maybe I'll drop it to like a five to one then. It doesn't have to be super aggressive, just enough that the super loud games don't run everything else out. Exactly in a position to be fiddling with that sort of stuff at the moment, though. I'm 
definitely overstayed my welcome in the M4. <laughs> not phys not just physically in this area, but also just generally speaking, I think I've overstayed my welcome. Alright, the filter the, the uh let's see. And one ratio, we'll drop that not up, we'll drop that down to harbour. I mean, even a 3 to 1 ratio is pretty aggressive. We probably don't need a 3 to 1 ratio. Kill assist, lovely work. An 18 coming along the top of the hill. That's anti air, isn't it? It's a light tank with a tank killer gun, actually, from memory. Sorry, bud. Live tank with a tank killer gun, but side on to anything else, you probably don't end up on the on the winning side of that battle. I know that because my partner has one of those, and he takes it out all the time and tells me it's basically a tank killer that goes fast. I really want to do a stupid play. We have another anti and uh, I'm gonna get myself killed going this far out, but... You shot at me? You shot at me. I've overstayed my welcome so much in this tank. I mean, shit though. Hey. Playing on a tank, which I believe the M5 had double research points. So, if we get the M6A1, I think I'll call it on that beautiful high note of a game. Say replay on everything. 1,210. Oh, that's convertible. Oh, no! Look! We did it. My first heavy tank of the US tree. I think we got exactly enough research. Save the replay. Look at that, 110,000 lions. This is where it starts getting a bit more expensive to keep these tanks in order, actually. But I definitely want the M6A1. It's going where the M4A1 was. Actually, is it going where the M4A3 is? I feel like I could put it where the M4A3 is. The M5 is just too... I know it's my lowest tier tank, but it is too speedy to not be fun, no matter when you take it out. The M16 MGMC, I could just get rid of it. I've never had a time where I felt like I've needed anti-air, where I couldn't just use the machine gun on any other tank. I feel like I'm just going to... We'll get rid of my anti-air. We'll go for a heavy tank. 40,000 for the next heavy tank, the M4A3E2. But the M6A1, I think I'm going to be happy with. The M18 GMC, I think that was the one I just took out side on to me. Um, I might research that next. Because that is the tank killer line, which is where I want to be. There's a couple of tank killers all over the place. But I do want to carry down here. Again, it being in the tank killer line, more testament to being a light tank with a tank killer gun. I think it actually has fairly similar armaments. Oh, I gotta think. I think the uh, the M18 GMC actually has the same cannon as, or at least it takes the same rounds as the M10 before it. 76 millimeter M1 cannon and a 12.7 millimeter machine gun with 800 ammo. The M10 is, also, is an M7 cannon, so they aren't the same cannon, and I do believe one of these has a better velocity out the barrel. Besides that, I think they're kind of the same gun. 
You've got the M62 shell, which I think is what I'm using in the M10, which is my tank killer, and the M42A1. But I think the difference is going to be the shells are probably the same. I think the core difference is going to be that muzzle velocity, 792 meters per second. If we go back over here to the M10, same shell, M62 and the M42A1, but the muzzle velocity is identical. Never mind, I should fuck it. I don't know what the difference is. The cannon is different, the rounds are identical, and apparently there's no functional difference between the two rounds. Um, uh, point blank, it's got a 150 centimeter, 150 millimeter pen. What is this? Point blank, 150 millimeter pen. Yeah, okay, in hindsight. Zero clue what the difference is, but the cannon on these things is meant to be different. 72mm M1 cannon. Functionally identical, I guess, as far as War Thunder is concerned. But, alright, I did it. I set up. I achieved my goal. We have the M6. What does that come with, actually? What? 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 Why? What? Well, let me absolutely confused. It has a 76mm M7 cannon, a 37mm M3 cannon, and then the machine gun on the side is still a 12.7mm 5.56 machine gun. Three of them. Three machine guns, two cannons. What? Do I get two cannons? <laughs> I... 37 millimeter cannon. 76 millimeter cannon. Do they both fire at the same time? How do you shoot? Okay, so there's only one button to fire on a tank, as far as I'm aware. Um, space for machine guns, secondary click gives you the zoom, and primary click makes the fire happen. Do I just have to toggle between my cannons? Like, do I switch? Um, on boats, you switch your guns with control 1, 2, control, control 1, control 2, control 3, blah, blah, blah. You can switch your, what you're using. So you can fire your main cannon and switch to your, uh, your ancillary stuff and go hunting planes if you want. But I've never seen a tank with two main cannons before. Or at least the primary cannon, of course, you've got the big boy there and the littler one what a fascinating fascinating uh thing i i kind of want to try it out i'm gonna save that for next time let's have a look though because we do have a couple of points here we can burn for this guy we have the tank loader tank commander i do want to go a bit more range finding i think and can we do in vision on a driver. Skill affects the crew visual range in the hull of the direction and the direction they are looking as well as the range of detecting our targets. Average skill value of the crew counts. Maybe I'll give my gunner keen vision. Fly. I am ten doing. On a nothing. It take. Targeting. I'm gonna two into that. One into range finding and. Guess keen vision. I. 
do honestly think dumping these points into your gunner does make you kind of a one-man army because if your gunner goes out yeah you you kind of back to like a skeleton crew that don't know how to do anything but it is so good having a gunner that can actually target like look at this targeting quality plus eight percent and then with my the total and there's my skills it's 24 plus eight and then i don't know what that lobe there is but with a max of a hundred i don't know what i end up with but um You, you you can definitely win fights based on your crew if you train them up. That being said, again, I am kind of making a one-person army in every one of my tank crews here. There is no second guessing. Radio operator, actually. You need to pay attention to radio operator. Full time and... Accuracy are definitely some stats you can use. I've got one of these guys should be... No, okay. The most I've got is a single bar. Um, I thought I'd upgraded one of them to be fairly accurate, but that might be naval. Air speed, observers... Oh, what are these? Where is it? Hmm. Either way. I think that's a good note to end on. I will still be spending half hour, I think, to end the stream in... What's it called? Friday Night Funky. Or as I've spent years calling it... Friday night at Funkin' so that I can call it FNAF. For no reason. Right? But even the mods are in here in the category selection. How's that? I don't feel like we'll go over after. I'm, I'm already planning how to end the stream. So that my desktop capture was not on. I had. To be fair, I had my local router, though, but not exactly something I want to be visible. And if it is my local logon. Where do I keep it? Over here. I still feel like doing something in my own time after stream. I just don't know what. 